Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're focusing on how to remove your double DIN uh, stereo cage. Uh, the single DIN has a very very similar process to this uh, but this is a, this one in particular is a double DIN. This is for the A4, uh, S4 and RS4, B6 and B7 models. So let's take a look at what's involved. Okay, now once you've got your uh, centre console out of the way, it actually gives you access to the uh, to the actual stereo cage uh, itself. Okay, the one thing you do need to do uh, before we can uh, move on to the next stage is you've got this uh, this row of compartments and buttons uh, across the top. Yours may look slightly different to this. You may not have a, uh, a card tray here. You may have three buttons if you've got things like parking sensors or things things of that nature in there as well. Okay, the reason that you want to uh, remove these beforehand. Is because there's electrical connections uh, behind them uh, so you need to disconnect those uh, electrical connections so uh, if you're unsure how to remove uh, any of these sections uh, here we've actually uh, done videos for how on how to remove all of these components here so what we'll do is we'll add a video for you in the uh, information section below this video on YouTube if you have a quick look down there you'll see that there's links for these so if you're unsure how to get any of these out okay just check out those videos uh, it only takes you know uh, two or three minutes each section's dead quick you can get these out really easily Check that out and then come back when you have these removed. Okay, so with those components removed, as you see, you're left over with these uh, electrical connections. This is why you actually have to remove them. So before we can uh, remove the stereo cage itself, let's just push those back in. So they're not going to get hooked up on their, uh, on their way out. Just push those in, they're out of the way, and uh, then we can move on to the next stage. So what we need to do is we need to uh, disconnect, if you look in here, there's actually a size uh, 8 little bolt on the uh, inside edge there. And if you look on the outside here, it passes all the way through the cage. Hopefully you can just about see that there. That's where it comes out the other side through this uh, little kind of copper coloured bracket just here. Okay, so uh, get those two removed on both sides and then we can move on. So that's the screw, as you can see it's quite long, it does pass through the actual body of the stereo cage itself, which is why it has to be removed. Okay, so we'll remove this one and the one on the other side, and we can crack on. Okay, so with those two um, bolts removed from the top, uh, we've actually got two down in the bottom corners here. Uh, you can just about see them from the outside, a little uh, torque screw just passes through there. As you can see, this uh, this uh, bracket here is actually attached to the, uh, the chassis of the car. It's got, got a kind of a hook shape on it. And I think they've designed this so that you can slacken these bolts off and kind of push it down and out. However, I always find it quite difficult um, to do that by slackening them off. They never kind of actually want to seem to pop out. So it's just as quick, I find, just to take these, uh, these two little um, bolts out altogether. So get rid of these two and then we should be good to go. Okay, so I'm just removing the, uh, the second one of these. Now uh, on this particular car I've done some, uh, some work already around the gearbox and so this, uh, this uh, actual brown bracket is uh, free to move. Uh, when you do this on your car, uh, it will, uh, that will be locked in place uh, so, it won't, uh, so it won't be able to move. So it will be a little bit easier for you uh, than it is for me. Now if you grab the, grab the stereo cage at this stage, move the top forward and then you've got, the, uh, you've got to disconnect it from the bracket. Now you'll, you, you'll see when you do this yourself, the uh, screw holes that you've just kind of taken them out of are kind of uh, raised. So what you've got to do is you've kind of got to open this bracket up a little bit, just so they pop out on, on both sides. Like so. And then when you've done that, that is your double-din stereo cage, uh, completely ready to go and free from the car. <laughs> 